Good evening, a 19 year old is now facing a murder charge accused of shooting another man inside a packed Albuquerque movie theater. Police say the shooting erupted after a fight over seats. News 13's George Gonzalez has the very latest. George is live at the Century Rio Theater. This is near I-25 and Jefferson this evening. George. Well, yeah, Dean, the theater still remains closed nearly a day after the shooting. Now, I did get to talk to a couple of people who were here last night who tell me they're still rattled by what happened. There was a large police presence, obviously, uh, and lots of people in the parking lot just trying to figure out what's going on. There was a lot of emotion. People were crying, people were scared, and basically, you know, everyone just got out of here as quickly as they could. Now, police rushed to Theater 15 just after 9 last night, finding a man shot where the film No Hard Feelings was playing. APD says the shooter is 19-year-old Enrique Padilla. According to a criminal complaint, Padilla and his girlfriend arrived at the theater to find a couple sitting in their reserved seats. That sparked a fight that theater staff tried to resolve by reseating each couple. Now, police say Padilla eventually threw a bucket of popcorn at 52-year-old Michael Tenorio and his wife. Now, Tenorio is accused of pushing Padilla, who police say drew a gun and fired. The Norio died at the scene from multiple gunshot wounds. I told my kids, get down in case he comes into the theater. So we all ran, like I said, and, and uh, we were fearing for our lives because, uh, you know, who knows? Now, APD believes also Padilla shot himself during the fight, and they believe the victim was unarmed. Now, Padilla was taken to the hospital last night. He is facing an open count of murder and several other charges. Back to you. All right, George, thank you. APD also says it recovered a gun outside the movie theater near where Padilla was found. That gun had a casing matching casings found inside the theater.